What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of teaching you guys how to beat Act 6 easily. It's your boy Smasher, and today I'm gonna be helping you get that cavalier title. So this is the last quest you need to beat to get cavalier, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Act 6, Chapter 1. So as soon as you beat this, you'll be Cavalier, and I'm going to help you do that. This is my team. Yes, that's a six-star Hyperion. Yes, you can use a five-star. I don't have the five-star ranked up, but I'm just going to be bringing this, and yeah. So, this is the path we're taking. Straight up the middle, whoops, and then to the left. So let's just get right into it. The global node here is Hurt Locker. If you use the same special attack twice in a row, you take damage. So it's pretty easy to not mess up. Just don't do the same special attack twice in a row. Pretty simple. Moon Knight, not too difficult. Uh, the goal is to not use six stars in this challenge slash guide video series, but to save time, and more importantly, I'm just trying to show you guys the best counters and, uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily, uh, matter if they're a six star or a five star but i'm just trying to show you the best counter like yeah my six star will do more damage but it's the utility is what matters and uh you can use anybody for this fight i'm just bringing hyperion in for the boss now I know for a fact I used Magneto the first time fighting this boss, and you can too. The problem was Sentinel is stun immune, and that fight was just very annoying. But anyways, we're not there yet. Havoc. You need to have a champion that has armor ups. So who has armor ups? Nimrod. You can use Nimrod. You can use any champ that has armor ups. I like Nimrod. I've used him a lot in this series. If you don't have Nimrod and you're watching this series, you're probably a bit upset. But, like, honestly, you can use any get anybody with armor ups. And I'm sorry if you don't have Nimrod. Because I've used him so much. And you might think, like, oh my god, I need Nimrod to become Cavalier. No, you don't. You honestly don't, but he does help, and he is, like, the best tech champ in the game. But, yeah. So, make sure don't use the same special twice in a row, so not have to do special one. I think my armors are going to fall off as well, so that's not good. Make sure to parry to get more armor ups if you're using Nimrod. If you need help finding a good Havoc counter, you don't have Nimrod, you don't really know like what champs have armor up, just search up on YouTube, best Havoc counters, and you'll find a video, I'm sure, that will show you how to defeat Havoc. But, there you go. Next. Heimdall. Same node. Let's use Hood, rank 4, 5 star. Um, yeah. So, basically for this quest, the team you want to bring is whatever team you want for these three fights. So, basically, you have to just look at the, the next fights I'm going to show you. But I'll just tell you now. You want, basically, people who can heal block... And then you need some mystic nullifiers as well. 
So you'll see why in a second. But here we go with hood. If you don't know what I'm doing, I am trying to load these bullets and I'm going to do a heavy attack to uh, do a, a lot of damage. Once again, not the best hood player out there. But I do like using them. I feel like I play them decently. Once again, as well, you do not need to use hood for this fight. You can use whoever you want. But I'm just, I have hood in for the later fights. He doesn't necessarily nullify, but he does have stagger. Which I'm hoping will work. If it doesn't work, uh oh. Alright, so as you see in there, I used the same special twice, and I was about to take a lot of damage, but I ended the fight, and as well, I'm pretty sure if you do a heavy attack, you don't take the damage. Let me just double check that real quick. Mm, yeah, if you use a heavy attack, you remove it, so keep that in mind. But now, the new nodes, Hurt Locker's still here. Arc Overload. At the start of the fight, in every 20 seconds, the defender triggers an Arc Overload, gaining an Armor Up buff, which increases armor by 25%, and a Regeneration buff, which heals 25% of max health. These buffs last for 6 seconds, and when they have the regen, they're also unblockable. And they're going to regen more. So, you definitely want somebody who can heal block, or just get rid of the healing, which Nimrod... Gets rid of healing. So at the start, just back up. Okay, not I didn't do a good job of backing up. Because they're going to be unblockable right away. Isn't that great? But yeah, just try to do as best of a job as you can of ending the fight as fast as possible. <clears throat> so make sure you boost up and use your best champs. Ideally, heal blockers, so you don't have to deal with this unblockable. And the regen, because the regen will be very strong, very potent. So I just used Nimrod. And you, you might be like, I don't have Nimrod. Can you use somebody else? Yes, Omega Sentinel. Here you go. Activate this. Keep in mind, I don't know how to use Omega Sentinel. So, uh-oh, I forgot. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I forgot my own tip that they're unblockable at the start of the fight. Whoops. So, see what happens when, uh, <clears throat> at the start of the fight, they're unblockable, so... Remember that. As you see, Omega Sentinel heal blocks, but she doesn't get rid of the regen. So Wolverine's still unblockable, but he's not healing. Uh, also, I did the same special attack twice in a row and took a ton of damage. So this fight is kind of going horrible. And this also shows that uh, I'm not comfortable with Omega Sentinel at all. And you definitely want to be using champs that you're comfortable with. Other heal blockers on the top of my mind are Vision, I think. And then, I don't know, you could use Nullifiers here as well. You can use Mystic Champs. But, yeah, here we go. Doom. Yeah, he's rank 5, ascended. But, like I've said a million times, you can use a rank 4. It doesn't matter. But my Doom will be doing a lot of damage here. 
So I'm just gonna nullify all that. Oh, it didn't do anything. That's cool. Um, all right, so make sure you're watching that timer for when the unblockable is coming back. The regen actually wasn't too bad there. You might be like, why are you not doom cycling? I don't know. It's very late. I've recorded all these videos in the same night. And, uh, I'm tired. If you can tell by my voice and my energy levels, but it's fine. If I can, uh, beat these quests all in a row, so can you, and you can become Cavalier this easy. And you might be like, yeah, it's easy with your champs. But honestly, if you boost up, it's easy for you as well. Trust me. I did it. <clears throat> and you can use revives and health potions as well to help you. But yeah, here we go. We got like two fights left, and then we're at the boss already. So keep in mind, once again, they're going to be unblockable to start the fight. So you need to back up. There's an intercept. I don't know what that... Is there Bane on this fight as well? I don't know. Whoops. Yeah. Okay, so there is Bane on this fight. Not cool. Didn't know about that. Make sure you read the nodes. Bane, how it works is... Whoever lands the first hit puts a degen on the other person. And then if you get hit, you get the degen on you. And it's on a timer, so once the timer expires, you have to put the degen back on the other champ, or you're going to have it on yourself. So as you see here, I hit him right as the timer expired and put the degen back onto Superior Iron Man. So that's how to play around Bane. I'm sure you know that you did it in Act 5. And you probably know what bane is but there we go dr doom um yeah <clears throat> you can use any nullifier any mystic chant would work pretty well like uh rintra has neutralize he would work Anybody with stagger would work, so I think Juggernaut has that. Um, I don't really know off the top of my head, but there's a bunch of options for this. So as you've seen, she just gained a regen out of nowhere and became unblockable, so you have to watch out for that. She'll just gain regen out of nowhere and go unblockable. So that's why you want a nullifier. The problem with Doom and this node is you can't do the same special twice in a row. So I can't throw my special one to nullify that or else I'll take a bunch of damage. So what I'm going to do instead, put that stagger on. So if she tries to get that regen again, she won't. Okay, she did anyways. Alright, I'm throwing the special three. Hopefully this ends the fight. Yeah, I know I didn't do the doom cycle right. I'm not trying to do that right now. I'm just trying to kill her. All right, she's down. We're at the boss. 
like I said, I used Magneto on my initial clear, but it wasn't the easiest of fights. And uh, I'm going to use a Cosmic this time. So I brought Hyperion. I'm also going to bring Hulkling because this guy's stun immune. And if you watched the last video, you'll know why I like Hulkling for stun immune. But basically, since he can break block with his unblockable, it just makes getting openings easier. But there's a lot of nodes on this guy. Stun immune, we're power drained every 20 seconds, and no buffs or debuffs in the first 30 seconds. So let's start with Hyperion and see how it goes. So just keep in mind, no buffs or debuffs for either of you in the first 30 seconds. So, and he's stun immune anyways. But if you throw a special one, like if you are using Hyperion like I am, and you throw a special one expecting that incinerate, there will be none. <clears throat> but the damage is huge, obviously, with the six-star uh, champion, so... But if you have a 5 star rank 5 and you're boosted, you'll do this much damage as well. But Hyperion just does a lot of damage in general. So yeah, the main thing with this Sentinel, if you use a Cosmic Champion, is just the stun immunity. That's pretty much the only thing to worry about. The, the reason why I say with a Cosmic Champion is because he has nodes which interact with all the other types of classes except cosmic <clears throat> so as long as you uh bring a cosmic the only two things you have to deal with is the stun immunity and then the hurt locker doing the same special attack twice in a row i keep getting hit So with Hyperion, you want to do heavy attacks to build the Furies, but it's kind of hard to when <clears throat> they're stun immune because you can't parry. <coughs> but as you see here, you can bait heavies back up and then throw your own heavy. This fight's going pretty well. And yes, I'm using a 6-star... I'm pretty sure he's ranked 3, but still. Same idea with the 5-star. Just might take a little longer. But it will still be this easy. Like, look how many times I've got hit, and it doesn't matter. You get the idea. Like, if I use Hulkling, the same thing would happen. I'm dead anyways. So Hulkling is going in. Make sure to bring Cosmic for this fight, <clears throat> and you're chilling. The damage here is going to be ridiculous because it's a 6 star rank 4, but you get the idea. Any Cosmic works, honestly. Just make sure you play around the stun immunity, and then the hurt locker. And then you're chilling, and you're going to be Cavalier. So thanks so much for watching. Comment down below if this helped you. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe. If you watch this far, comment tomato. And I'll see you guys again very soon. And one more thing I want to say. If this video and this series helped you to get Cavalier, drop that in the comments. Let me know I helped you so I can keep making these videos to help more people. And uh, I just want to know that you guys are Cavalier. It's cool to see. So, yeah. Peace out.